Hey YouTube, this is Rex today. I'm Luke. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is Venom Saga episode 22. Oh my god. So, uh, the fight of uh, standing still and getting punished is about to begin. Yes. I'm so nervous. Mm. I, I want him to be like in amazing shape at the end of this, but like being in amazing shape at the end of this will make it worse. Mm. Uh. All, of the, all of the things can happen from here. There's so many options. No. Oh, I'm so excited. I just want to see this talk between Canute and Thorfinn. That too. Also, I can't wait for Thorfinn to show everybody how awesome he is. Yes. yes. More awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's just get right into it. Guys, yeah. thank you guys very much for being here. Guys, like your time here. Please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Very you can check the Patreon on down if you want to see the uncovered of this show as well as anything else that we do. And also, just want to give you a forewarning. I have the sniffles and I will be sneezing. I'll see you in discussion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blood! Oh, oh dear. That means he's taking Here's hits. Here's the punches. He's taking hits. Yeah, he's Whoa. taking them with blood flowing. 16. 16. Oh. oh. 18. Oh. oh. Still standing, though. Oh, standing up straight, too. Uh, oh, see, he moved in. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. But he's still bleeding. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Still bleeding. Oh, he's gonna figure it out. Oh no! Mm. Mm -hmm. He's reacting faster than he can punch. There's some. Yeah. But he's picking it up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, 23, that's all. Oh, it sounds so bad. It sounds. This is either gonna get mad. Oh, oh snake. snake. He's gonna see it. Uh oh. He Whoa. took a direct hit this Got time. Distracted. Yeah. It's your fault, snake. Ruined snake. You ruined it. Now he's knocked out. He's never gonna survive all the way. No. <laughs>なんなんだ。と。お嬢は交差する。そう決まった。バカ野郎。すごい。お前は話し合いで解決するくらいならとっくにやってな。の <laughs> 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 We had a kettle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't spit out a tooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Not getting those back. Little <laughs> part. Get it over with! <laughs> People are waiting for me! Ow! Middle part! <laughs> down! Why is it insulting? <laughs> First thing that came to his mind. <laughs> are we time skipping this? Oh yeah, more hitting. I think yeah. we're at sunset now. Because they see something else in him. Yeah, it's impressive. Yeah. These punches are going to be so bad now. 98! Oh, Omar. He's about to pass out. Or is he just like this the whole time? Oh, no. Got him. <laughs> Yep. Well done. Well, let's get back to the king at any point. <laughs> oh, acknowledgement. <laughs> oh. Wow. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Oh, his oh, my face is so oh. swollen. Gosh. Oh. Well. King don't even want to see him though. How could you say no to yeah. him though? Oof. I know. You better oh. see him now. 
Oh, you didn't stop them like 80 punches ago. It's like I don't violence anymore. <laughs> no reason to hate each other. Stupid! Yeah. Why does everybody else have to pay? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you are not my enemies. Yeah. He's gonna say it. I have no enemies. It just clicked to him. Will he say it? Oh! Said the thing. He said the thing. He said the thing. Oh, okay. 
and conversation yeah. with canoe it's not mm-hmm. the end of it but yes did not expect to get all of it no after the punches i kept expecting it was the end yeah <laughs> i was like this is gonna take the whole episode right mm. Mm. took every single one of them and even had time to call throw out some insults yeah it's like get back over here middle part i don't know it's such a good insult it's such a good non-insult that yeah. it's insulting yeah yeah just point out one distinctive feature <laughs> yeah like not even leave the eye patch alone yeah. it's the middle part he went for <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go too far no, no. <laughs> yeah so he just takes those punches and everyone at first is just a joke but he goes all the way and everyone just yeah. can't help this guy is yeah. crazy yeah. yeah and it's when he get not, gets knocked out Snake wants to like no we're surrendering and uh, I'm just like no let him do it and then everybody is serious after that. Like, mm. okay. Yeah. Something else about this guy. And I like that uh, Snake and Omar don't even show up after that because even though they're the ones who technically have the right to discuss and everything, he earned the right and the focus is on Thorfinn and what Thorfinn wants to do right now. Yep. Mm. Only he... And he gets to bring Einar along. I, I realize why he brought Einar now because Einar is basically like all of the complaints of the, the, the normal people yeah. in, in yeah. like on steroids because he's just going to spurt out <laughs> everything yeah. with no care that this is the king of your country mm-hmm. and, and of course he knew, and was named Thorfinn knew when he would have to hold him back okay that's enough that's mm-hmm. a good boy yeah yeah. because yeah. Einar's been through all of it yeah. yeah all of it yeah he's been he's lost the village lost his fa- lost his uh, like under every single king just something cat- cat- catastrophic has happened to him yeah, yeah. Uh, and become a slave well, I lost the girl he loves because they're slaves. <laughs> like, all of the things. Yeah. And it's also, you can know, Thorfinn is not going to be the one to say, but what about, da, 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 da. you know, he's not going to be the one to say all of that. So mm-hmm. I think that's like, I'm going to bring Einar to be my mouthpiece yes. in that sense. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. he'll be the voice of reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Turning the other cheek, the first method. So mm-hmm. the first method yes. is just enduring. Yes. What the other side has oh, to yeah, do. I forgot I have the other side. There was a lot of notes to take this. The other cheek. Mm-hmm. Yes. Simply enduring. And Einar is like, is, is this is this it? Yeah. He's mm. trying to find the first method. This could be 
this is this could just be trial and error. Let's try this one. See if it works. I came out of that one barely alive. Maybe I'll try another one. Yeah. I think yeah. I think this is just the whole taking the punches thing was the first step to the first method because yes. all all he wanted to do was Stop. talk. Talk. He's like, did it. we really? Have a conversation about no, this. No, that's what I was going to say, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody really tried. The mm-hmm. war and the, the excitement started before anyone tried to have a civil conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Canute didn't have to requisition Kettle's land. Kettle would gladly give him lots of his 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 gains. I don't know if he'd give him enough that Canute yeah. would be happy, but mm-hmm. he could give, like, more than 50%. So that, you know, Kettle will be a little bit grumpy, but he still has his farm. Mm-hmm. And then if he got that from every farm, it would be fine. I think that was the thing he didn't want because it would make the people upset if he started taxing the rich ones, mm. basically. So it was like, I can just take this one guy's stuff then take a few more and mm. I'll be fine. Yeah, and now that this escalated at this point, it's hard to go back. Yeah, that's true. But I, I, I do think that might be a possible solution. He specified he needs Kettle's wealth. Maybe not a tribute situation like he had with his previous brother, mm-hmm. but like if he just hands over everything he has, everything from this farm goes to the kingdom, mm-hmm. something like that, where you get it anyway, you get all the profits of the farm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in public, you can say something else happened. Just yeah. lie to the public. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But have a private agreement or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Another method he could take is like, oh, you killed my people. Now I'm going to need to tax the wazoo out of you. Yeah, just like, tax them instead like of killing them. Five or ten years. Mm. The problem with that would be the Viking Norseman way, you know, mm-hmm. is it seems kind of soft. Like you, they did something like that and you're just going to tax them, mm. you know, so. Mm. But yeah it's a weird balancing act yeah. mm-hmm. he's doing the political and the selfish thing yes yeah. all in one which is it's funny him dancing that act while being simultaneously being the most powerful person in the country also being a slave to their rules mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but he talked about how he basically wants to remodel the vikings but to, in order to do that he has to conquer and control all the vikings and like tighten his grasp over them mm-hmm. um, and that I think is what the demon head thing is getting at it's like it doesn't matter how much you get It'll never be enough. Mm-hmm. There'll always be a problem. You're not going to be able to make what you want the yep. way you think you can. Yep. And the path to getting there will make you into a monster. Mm-hmm. Just like his dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's interesting. So we get a little bit more on his philosophy, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To, I don't know if we're jumping anything. Oh, yeah, we jump, we're jumping. Let's go wait before we go there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thorfinn says, the thing! Yeah, I don't, I don't have, have any enemies. enemies. I don't have any mm-hmm. enemies. And Olmor is watching and he's yes. being moved and by and these he's... actors. Yes. Mm. So he said he's finally reached the father enlightenment point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is a good this is a good place to meet Thorko. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again. Yeah. You know, for a, a while in the beginning, I was wondering what exactly he was getting at with the "I don't have an enemies" thing because obviously, obviously you don't, you don't. But mm-hmm. fights don't start because you had that person an enemy. Mm-hmm. You had them because a dispute comes up. But if you look at it from their perspective as backing raiders, they go after people, you know. Mm-hmm. So by saying that in the first place, like you don't go, have to go hurt other people. You don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But then, yeah, we have the conversation with Thorfinn and Knut, and Knut gives his philosophy. He brings back up the thing where he's rebelling against God. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then we see more. What he's saying is he's trying to create, he can only create a paradise if it goes against God's logic, which is what human nature is, is what I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, humans were like, they're made this way and they're just like killing each other. Yeah. He needs to make a paradise for them still against the logic that God has created. Yeah, in, in, in a way, just like the waves crashing down, the Vikings are uh, um, the result of nature forcing them into the situation and gradually pushing out and getting more violent. And they're just the strongest because they're the most, I don't know, survival of the fittest, right? Mm-hmm. But they had to be like that, otherwise someone else would do it to them. Mm-hmm. So in order for him to fix the world, he has to conquer the world and then remodel the way civilization works, kind of. Yeah, but I, I, it's still, his logic still doesn't, for me personally, it, I don't see how he still justifies creating all of the suffering of the other stuff. Yeah. He's like, I want to save the Vikings, but what about everybody else? Yeah. Well, I think it's a thing of, I it's, to an end. if you can save a hundred out of a thousand or none, hmm. kind of, you know. Hmm, Maybe. Because, I mean, if you leave it as it is, it's just never going to end, ever. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. Is like In my head, I'm like, you don't have to leave it as it is. 
but you don't have to do this, you know? Mm. Well, if he doesn't leave it as it is, and just tries to reform his own individual society, the problems will crop up eventually again because the Vikings are just so wild. Mm -hmm. And there's people outside their power, like you specified in Northern Europe, we're the strongest kingdom. So mm -hmm. there's other people out there that are a problem. Hmm. So it's like he has to, in order for him to make his people peaceful, he has to make the rest of the world peaceful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's getting at. That's possibly it. I, I'm guessing yeah. with you guys too. Yeah. But I don't know. Well. But I do, I like the point of how Aina brought up, I don't care about your ideals. Yeah. My family's dead. Mm -hmm. People I love are dead because of people like you. Yeah. And that's something that we see in the world all the time, where there are ideals mm -hmm. and then there's reality. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you want, you objectively want a good thing to happen. But for it to happen, a lot of people fall through the cracks. Yeah. And Ira's one of those people. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think, what's his name? Canute, even though he didn't answer to that, I think his answer is, um, kind of what I said earlier, is it's a means to an end, and you are part of the means, unfortunately that gets stomped on to get yeah. to the end. Mm -hmm. And as the king, the kings has to look at the whole chessboard, you know? Mm. Yeah. Instead of just like, oh, this poor little family, let me save them. It's not going to help anything. So that's why he mm. can ignore Einar's ideals or mm. ideas. I like this whole, the whole uh, stop the waves thing. Yeah, that I, whole thinking, I think he's making a point here, but with the head, we could also be going the whole direction of, no, he's gone crazy. Mm -hmm. Which, a part of me was a little disappointed if that was it. Mm -hmm. Because I really like the complex character, but the, uh, he is just making a point. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I was fully ready for his, his head to just be gone. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> I, was, I was not ready for anything. Mm -hmm. I was just reacting in the moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we we also have not seen of speaking of heads the head in the situation. Yet. Oh, yes, it's mm -hmm. gotta show up. Yeah, yeah. it's gotta show up. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think um, Thorfinn. Uh, also, all the men are surrounding them now mm -hmm. <laughs> because he's like, "What are you gonna do? Kill me?" <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping Thorfinn. I don't know, like what what will happen after this? Like, will Thorfinn say something profound and leave and be able to leave, or? Are they going to try it, like capture him slash kill him at this point? Mm. Um, I don't see him trying to fight, except maybe protect Einar, or like, what, what do you think is going after this? Or maybe they were they just making a point surrounding him? I think they're just making a point. He's saying like, you have to come kill me and you if you're them. gonna do something. So mm -hmm. either you leave mm. or we fight. Mm. Yeah, catch these hands. He's like, I have all the cards. Yeah. Like, we can talk all we want, but mm -hmm. unless you've got something good, I will do what I want. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, to th I don't think violence is actually a solution here because no. if you do kill him, the, the, yeah. they have like an honor bound thing to kill everybody on this farm. Yeah. <laughs> um, if they do take him hostage, someone else will do it. You know, mm. uh, I don't know. The only solution I think is he has to get what he wants with the money. But Thorfinn has to figure out some system here where the farmers kind of get screwed over. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's a very complex situation. Um, I mean, even at this point, no one really feels sad for Kettle, but... Mm, yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know. Like, maybe maybe there's no happy ending for this farm, but maybe at least it'll, the point of all this was Thorfinn and Canute's growth. Mm. Because I can see Canute reflecting on this conversation in the future in other situations. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Or at least, like, when they're pillaging the place, be like, oh, right, Einar said something about this. Yeah. Hmm. Execute Thorgil. <laughs> <laughs> Exile Kettle. Omar can stay, but while they're there, all the profits of the farm goes directly to the king. Mm -hmm. Everyone else who is here can stay unmolested. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Like, so it's basically the king's farm, but he just under somebody else's name. Technically. It's kind of like yeah. a, what do you call the feudal, in the feudal system when you're Pu under the king? Puppet system? No, no, no. A, a vassal? Like a, a vassal or something uh, like yeah. that. Yeah, technically they're already vassals. Oh. It's okay. just, the More contract intense. changes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You get 1% of your own yield. <laughs> <laughs> to just enough to survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's all I got. That's all I have. Oh. For Einart, um, going off on the king, I wrote Einar pop pop sis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Cause he, he was like, "You're not a king. You're like a, a what was it? A Viking raider chief? Yeah, Viking chief. raider chief. Yeah. Oh I was yeah. Like, Dang man, 
He has no respect. No. no. I love it. None. No, but he's right. But, I mean, the thing like is... It, is, it isn't any different. Yeah, because it's like, you think that's an insult? I know that's the case. Yeah. Like, I am the king of the kings. That's yeah. my job title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, guys, please let us know what you thought of this episode. This mm-hmm. was crazy. Yeah. If you like your time here, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And in the Patreon down below, you can see the uncut version of this show or anything else that we do, as well as any of the shows that we watch as well. Also, what would you, your solution for this farm be? Yeah. Let us know. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye! Let's just thanks to our patrons. Alexander Dietz, Crows VA, James Lee, Q-Book, and Luis Rivero.